Here are 19 tips to help you master Nano Banana for AI filmmaking. I've done a ton of testing and whether you are a beginner or advanced, these tips will show you new creative possibilities and help you level up your AI skills. Tip number one, style transfer for complicated scenes. Nano Banana can turn you into any character, but most of the time it keeps the input image nearly the same and the cinematic feel is missing. To get the result you see in the right image, where it looks like I'm really in the scene and it feels very cinematic, I use two methods. The first one is a style transfer and the second is a workaround for a face swap. The left image shows the look I'm aiming for. But if you use a prompt based on that image in Nano Banana, like a close-up shot of the man as an astronaut with an orange spacesuit in a light blue scenery, you get results like these. And as you can see, it just spaces my face in and I think it doesn't feel very cinematic. So I tried adding both images with the prompt, make the man from image 1 in the style of image 2. Then about 10 times it gave me the same image, 10 times it just showed me on the blue background, twice my face was just pasted on the other person and only once I got a result I liked. And also the other two prompt examples didn't work, so let me show you a method that works much better and more reliable. So I uploaded the image to ChatGPT and asked it to give me a text to image prompt from this image. And then I got this prompt, and you can pause the video to fully read it, but as you can see, it is a very detailed prompt, and this is the trick with Nana Banana. The more you describe things in detail, the better your outcome is going to be. And now in Open Art, I'm in the Image tab, with the Nano Banana model selected. I've added my prompt in here, and I added close-up shot of the man in front of it. Then I dragged my image in here, and the cool thing is on Open Art, now you can select the output size, and I'm selecting the 16x9. I can also decide how much images I'm going to create and I'm going to go for two and then hit create. And the reason I'm using open art is because here I have all the AI images and video models under one subscription. And then with this prompt, I got this image and I didn't really like these things over here. So I deleted filled with holographic constellations and glowing orbs and ran the prompt again. And then I got this result. And this is what I really like because it looks really cinematic and I can use this kind of stuff. So if you want to make the prompt even brighter, I mean the image, then you can use the prompt, make the colors from the outfit more vibrant and make the outfit bright orange and add a tiny bit of brightness to his face. And then you get this result. But personally, I like this image better. Tip two, keeping the exact same outfit and style using the face swap workaround. And for this, I added all the elements that I wanted to have into the image on a white background. And I also described what everything is. And I tried many, many things with these four examples, also with different prompts, but nothing really worked. But then I tried it with this combination and this worked perfectly. So for this prompt to work, you need to know how to isolate a character. And that's the next tip. But first, let's look at the prompt. I used create a new image by combining the elements from the provided images. Lenny is wearing the orange suit from the background image and the glasses from Bill. The final image should be fitting seamlessly together. And the rest of this prompt is just about the aesthetics from the chat GPT prompt that we just created before. And then I got these results. 40% of the time I got the exact same framing as in here and 60% of the time I got another framing. But still the images look very great because it has the exact same outfit, the exact same scenery and also the whole vibe is the same. And then I used the same prompt and image again, but I added the man looks at the floating holographic and I really like it. And it also shines a bit of light on his face. Tip number three, if you want to make somebody look older, you can use the prompt, make this person look older with natural aging effect. And in open art in the video tab, I've selected the image tab and the VO3 model is selected and I've added my image in here. And I use the video mode fast because that's a bit cheaper. And then I've added my prompt in here. And it is, the man is touching the hologram and looks in the camera and says, So this is what I'll look like when I'm old. Better start moisturizing. And I really love this shot. And especially at the end where he, where he smiles funny. It, it just almost feels like that VO3 understands that this is a joke. Tip number four. If you want to isolate a character, I use the prompt, remove the hologram and isolate the man and place it on a white clean background. Now, if you want the image to be brighter again, we can use the prompt we used before. Tip number five, making a full body shot. And this is as simple as asking for a full body shot from the man in image one. But because the input image is 16 by nine, we can see that this is also 16 by nine and we don't have a lot of detail in the face. And this brings us to tip number six. If you don't use Nano Banana on Open Art, but instead on Google's website or on LM Arena, then you can't set the aspect ratio. But there is a trick for that. 
the last image you drop in creates the output for the aspect ratio for the new generated image. So therefore I used this image and this image and I asked make a full body shot from the man in image 1, same as in image 2 and then I got this result. And now you can see we have way more detail in the face and this helps for consistency. Tip number 7, the line drawing technique. And for this I added this as the first image, this as the second one and this as the third one. And with the line drawing technique I really noticed that if your character is on a white background or on a transparent background this really helps for the end result. And then I used to prompt the two characters are flying through a sky of clouds with swirling sand in the same pose as the line drawing. And then we got this image. And then I used the more zoomed in image. And that didn't change anything to the position of the characters, but what did change, it seems that Nana Banana picked up more of the emotions, because you can clearly see, she's smiling here, and we see that here as well. And I'm very afraid, and you can see that here in the expression as well. So I'm really excited about this. And then I used the close-up shot from this image, and then I got these kind of results. And I'm quite happy with it, I mean the expression is even more clear as you can see here but they just don't feel as realistic as this image which I created before. And that's why I used this image with the following prompt to create the following video. I really liked this shot, but I'm a bit disappointed that the flying dirt and debris I prompted for in the image disappeared right at the start of the video. Tip number 8, if you want to change your image to an animation style, then I would also recommend to put your character on a white background as we see here. And then I used the prompt, make the man into a claymation character walking in a street, and I got this result. And I also tried it on this image with a similar prompt, but Nana Banana gave me back the same image. So I've tried a lot of stuff, so maybe if somebody is watching and knows the solution for this, then please let me know in the comments. And then I used this prompt to create this video. The man is walking towards the camera while the camera pulls back. Tip 9. Keeping your facial features while restyling yourself. Another thing I noticed is that if you ask to turn someone into for example an alien without adding a background, the facial features line up even better than when you also prompt for a background scene. So I've used the right image to make a video to video with Runway Act 2 and even for the right image the facial alignment was strong enough to deliver an incredible result. Before we continue with more cinematic AI filmmaking tips, I want to share a few quick tips to improve your workflow with Nano Banana. Tip number 10. In some situations it's better to use Nano Banana like Photoshop. For example, you could ask everything in a complicated prompt with this result, but sometimes it's better to use Nano Banana as Photoshop, as in layers. This is the original image. Then the first time I asked for an orange Adidas tracksuit with this result. Then I asked for a cute lovely beast with this result. And then I asked to put flames and fire in the background. And I think this image looks way better than this image. Tip number 11. Using annotations. Instead of dragging these four images into Nana Banana, it's better to use the base image and then place the images on it. So I placed all the objects in here and I put a description of where I want the objects to be in the image. And then I used the prompt, complete the prompts in the image and remove the text. And then I got this image. Tip number 12. Turn your character into 3D and I use the prompt render the sketch as a 3D cartoon Labubu with smooth shading. And now you can also use this prompt to create a 4 panel from this character and you can use the same technique for your consistent character. Tip 13. The best way to get 4 characters in one image is to add them on a white background and add their names in it. And then use a prompt like Mark, Elon, Jeff and Bill are on a summer holiday in a yacht drinking wine. And this way you get all the characters consistent in one image. Tip number 14. Assembling clothes. For example, if you want to promote your fashion, then you could use a prompt like assemble the outfit and put it on someone lifestyle image full body. And then you get this result. And of course you could also add your consistent character in here and then the clothes will be put on the consistent character. Tip 15. The frame hack and outpainting solution. If you use Nano Banana outside of open art, your image will have a one by one aspect ratio. But you can solve this by putting the image in the middle of a 16x9 white background and then use the outpainting prompt, extend this image and remove the white background. And that gave me this result. So now let's go back to more cinematic AI filmmaking tips. Tip number 16. Building a cinematic universe from only one image. For this I used this base image and then these two prompts to place my character in a completely different environment. The key thing here is that you need to describe the location and the position of the character in detail for this to work. Tip number 16. Creating consistent character workflows. As we saw before, I used this as my base image, but there's not much pixel data of a face, so that's why I used this image to create 
this image and I used this image to create this image. And with these three images, I can create anything I want with my character. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how to do this, because starting with a full body image doesn't always give consistent results in Nano Banana. So you need a simple trick to fix it. And in that video, I'll also show you how I created every camera angle you can imagine. You can also start the other way around by starting with a medium shot as a base image. And then from that, create a three quarter shot and from that create a full body shot. But this way you have no control over the trouser and shoes she will be wearing. Tip number 18 is about camera angles and also a warm up for the other video. So here's one camera angle I'd like to show you. And then I used this image to create the dialogue over the shoulder shot with the prompt dialogue over the shoulder shot of this image. And I'm not very excited about these four results. This one is quite okay, but these three are definitely not what I'm looking for. And to fix this, you need to describe more in detail what you want and then Nano Banana will understand it. So I use this prompt, over the shoulder perspective, blurred shoulder and head of one person in the foreground, camera focusing on the girl's face. And then we got this result. And for me, this is a proper dialogue over the shoulder shot. Tip number 19 is about rotating the camera. If you ask to please rotate the camera, then you get these kind of results. But if you ask to please rotate the camera to show the other side of the quad and the girl, then you get this result. And now with this image, and if you know how to control all the other camera angles, you can combine them to create amazing videos like this. So if you want to learn how to create all the camera angles in Nano Banana, make sure to watch this video.